with a 10 foot Old Town Yacht Tender and it's been Dynell covered with Dynell and epoxy and now uh, it's fed up nicely. You can see some of the planking lines right through the Dynell here. It wasn't meant to be perfectly clear but it is meant to be very smooth and it is that and we've used actually the same resin to saturate the cloth as we used to ferret with and it has had no putty applied in any way and uh, it is prepared now and tacked off and ready to prime. Now I've poured some of the paint out of the can and uh, the first thing I tried to use was a paint stirrer and we stirred it up quite a bit but we didn't get a very good result because it doesn't have any broadness to the end of the stick. I can't mash that stuff that's in the bottom with that little tiny stick. It has no surface area at the bottom. If you're trying to get rid of that stuff, you have to use a stick like this and mash it up in the bottom of the can like that because otherwise you won't get it stirred in. Primer has a lot of pigment in it and if you haven't had it shaken very recently, then what you're going to get with any primer is this situation. You're going to get all the solids in the bottom of the can and a simple paint stirrer will not break that up so you use a stick like this with a area on the end of it like this that you can mash that stuff in the bottom of the can with and that's the point of it right there. We're using Total Boat Primer on this little old town dinghy today here and uh, it's a high build primer. First thing we're going to do is just take a brush and a paint pot and paint the keel here and around the stem just at the cut water up here and maybe along the rails before we start rolling it. Going along and painted along underneath the guards and around the keel where it would be kind of hard for us to get the roller right in the corner and up the cut water and we haven't done anything in the transom because we can roll the entire transom. So we've started up forward rolling the paint on with these little foam rollers here and they really do a nice job and there's really no need to tip it like finished paint. And it dries quite quickly. It kind of draws down as it dries. It can be sprayed, rolled, or brushed. Here we're rolling it with foam rollers. That's serving our purposes really well. And that works great on wood, fiberglass, gel coat. We thinned it with mineral spirits, maybe 10%. You can thin up to 20%. And uh, for spraying, they add 10% xylene. As you can see, these foam rollers just work fantastic. They hold quite a bit of paint, and uh, it rolls it out nice and smoothly. There's really no need to tip it. Actually, the tipping of the primer actually roughens it up. So this is probably the easiest way for us to get it nice and flat and not a lot of overlap marks. Now, you don't want to try to put it on any thicker than the roller wants to apply it. So you can go back and re-roll over where you've just applied the paint. And that seems to flatten it out even a little bit more. All right, we're just about to finish rolling the primer onto the boat. And uh, it's gone on quite nicely and uh, rolled out very smooth. Uh, it should be dry in maybe an hour or so. And then we're going to sand it lightly before we put the finish coat on. It. 